Hi, this is Macy and Peyton, and we have some exciting news for you. We get to go back to church this Sunday. There will be an 8 o'clock service, a 10 o'clock service, and a noon service. If you're going to the 8 o'clock service, you have to be sure that you wear a mask. And there's not many seats, so be sure to get there early. Kids, there's no kids' classes, and we have to be on our best behaviors. So, bye. See you soon. Hey, hey, Open Door family. It is Tom Kuiper with me, Caleb Lynch here, and we wanted to give you kind of our final COVID update before we return back to church, and we are returning back to church this Sunday, and so we've got a bunch of information to give you. You already heard a little bit from my cute daughters, granddaughters. The cutest granddaughters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> agree. I think so. <laughs> Um, no, but we, we, we want to go through a couple of things. So hang in there with us. We want to make sure you totally understand what to expect before you show up uh, this Sunday morning. So the first thing, let's just get it out of the way. 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and noon. 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and noon. Those are our service times. If you can make it to the noon, that would be huge. We think that's going to be the one that's least attended and the other ones are going to be packed. And um, so if you can make it to the noon, that would be awesome. We will still be providing an online uh, service and um, you know we still will be doing our courtyard. The courtyard we're going to actually do a couple different times. We're going to do it before our 10 o'clock and before our noon. So at 940 and 1140 if you want to tune in on, on YouTube live you can actually watch our courtyard. It'll be a live courtyard this time of our actual courtyard. Um, but anyways th that's our service time and the 8 o'clock this is for our high risk families. That's the one where it's mandatory to wear a mask. So we got a lot more information. Tom, hit them with some other stuff. Yeah, there, we're not gonna have any of the outside classes other than the big church services. So there won't be baby classes. There's not gonna be any of the kids classes, Club 56, student ministries, junior high, high school, adult classes. We'll get all those kicked off again in August, August 9th. And just like Peyton said, kids, if you're gonna come, be on your best behavior, mm -hmm. shh. <laughs> um, as far as refreshments, too, we're not going to have the drinking fountains on. Uh, there's not going to be Courtyard Cafe, so you can't buy any snacks. Uh, feel free, though, to bring water into the services, so bring those from home if you want. Yeah, for sure. And there, there's a few more details, but um, I kind of want to explain the why. I, I know as you're watching Governor Ducey and watching different things and seeing different things from the CDC and, and our president and all different things, we're getting a lot of mixed messages. I want to explain the why behind what we're doing with our services, because I think it's really important. So what we realized is amongst our body, there are a ton of us with a ton of different reactions to this. Some of us that just want to be back together, business as usual. Some of us that have some real conditions that would make us high risk and just can't be there. And then others that want to be together, but they want to be uber careful. So we've tried to create a setting for everyone. So we have an online uh, service for those that just really, it's just not safe for them to be here yet. And we totally get that and that's totally normal. We have a service for those that do want to gather, do want to see their friends, do want to worship together in, in a sanctuary, but really are not yet ready uh, or, or, or feel comfortable even with, without a mask on or without others wearing masks. So we've created that setting as well. And then the final one, uh, we have some services for those that are, are ready to feel a little bit more back to normal. And so we want to create that opportunity for everyone. We know that um, for some, uh, the most loving thing that we could do would be to provide an online atmosphere for them. For some, the most loving thing we could do to be to have a really clean and safe environment. For some, the most loving thing we could do would be to have an environment that feels a lot like what they were used to. So that's that's kind of the why behind it. Obviously, we're taking precautions with everything, uh, but that's really the why. Yeah, and talking about the precautions, we're going to be really careful about keeping everything clean. The bathrooms are going to be open. Um, and just so you know, the deacons and their wives, the elders and their wives, the staff and their spouses, and a bunch of ministry leaders are going to come. And in between services, we're cleaning bathrooms, we're wiping down counters, we're, we're wiping seats, everything that has to be cleaned just so it's nice and safe. So we really want you guys to know that we are going to take communion. 
Um, and communion is going to be done a little different also. You'll find out when you get here on Sunday. But it's going to be done so it's, it's in a clean uh, way and so germs aren't going to be passed. We have talked as a staff a lot about this first Sunday. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're taking every precaution that we can think of. I know Caleb has talked with other pastors and churches. So um, we're really ready to kick this off on Sunday. And it's going to be clean for you. Yeah, absolutely. And just a couple final things. When you show up, there's going to be a couple things you'll notice right away. Uh, the first one is we're not going to let you into the sanctuary until the start time. Uh, we want to give the sanctuary as much time in between services to air out, uh, to be clean for the next group. And so we're really, after service is over, we're going to keep services shorter, under an hour, which is really different for us. It's but, not going to be hard for you. <laughs> yeah. But... Uh, that'll give us uh, a full hour to let the sanctuaries air out. And so we're going to keep the doors pretty much shut and locked. So when you show up, you can gather and hang out in the courtyard outside. We're even going to do a live courtyard and say hello to everyone that's watching online. Um, but the other thing that you'll notice, we're not going to be handing out paper bulletins. And so if you want to access our bulletin, uh, it's actually on our app. So when you go on our app, there's a little tab right on the homepage that says eBulletin. You click on that and it's an exact replica of what the paper version would be. So, and even uh, if you're old, you can figure it out. Even if you're well, old, I've got you can it right it here. Yeah. So, come on, old come guys, on. you can still do it. So, we are opening. We are excited to be with you. And if you can't make it, no pressure at all. We get it. We know everyone's at a different place in this, um, but we do feel that it's the right thing to get back together for some of us. And so, we can't wait. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you guys. It's we, been a long time. Oh I too gosh. am so excited about seeing everyone. I, I can't wait. 14 weeks. Yeah. 14 weeks. And I better get some amens and some hallelujahs <laughs> while I'm preaching because I've had none of that. So, um, gosh, we'll see you soon. We love you. Talk to you later. See you Sunday. Bye.